Woo. Hey, how's it going there, YouTube? Today I am at the St. Croix River with my wife, and we came down here because I had a real cool piece of driftwood that I found about, I don't know, three days ago when I was hiking way down the shoreline there. And then I carried it almost all the way back. I was gonna bring it down here and leave it on my family's land, but I was afraid that one of my cousins would get it and, you know, throw it on a fire pit or cut it up with a chainsaw. And this is a really cool piece of driftwood. I thought that maybe we could like put some plants in it and uh, grow something, make it like a driftwood planter and put it on our deck and it'd be really cool looking. So um, I'm gonna go over here. The wife's sitting over there by the fence. I'm gonna go over there and get her. And then we're gonna head down the tracks real quick and uh, I'm gonna go pick it up and I'm gonna bring it back and we'll bring it back to the house. And then we're gonna waterproof it tonight. And then probably tomorrow, I'm gonna put all the plants in it set it up on the deck and show you what it looks like so uh yeah thanks for tuning in and i will see you shortly so all right we're gonna head down the tracks and i'm gonna take her down here and show her this piece that i found it's a really cool piece of driftwood stump so there it is i know it doesn't look like much but when we get down to the truck i'll show it to you and like i'll kind of move it around and you can see how cool it is It looks heavy. It is. All right, here she is. Here's the log. The reason why I thought this would be cool is all the cool little nubs and plus the way it sits. It sits like this. And then I figured we could take it and then put some flowers and some dirt in here and kind of like on this one end down here I notice it has a hole so I'm thinking that must be like maybe some drainage that will come out and then on the other end there's another hole down here that when the uh we fill it up with water when we're watering the plants that the water should come out here but I want to go home and waterproof it and then get it ready and then tomorrow I'll put it on the deck with a bunch of uh, cool plants in it. There you go. Looks like a face there. Yeah, really cool. <laughs> so what do you think? You like that it? looks like it's got skulls on it. Yeah, it's really wild. Looks like it's a whole bunch of little cool faces and eyeballs all over it, so. All right guys, we're gonna take this home. I'm gonna waterproof it and then we're gonna get some flowers in it. And there you go, check it out. Isn't that badass? So hey, how's it going today? Today we get to go and finish up the driftwood planter. Yesterday I took the driftwood planter and I waterproofed the outside of it two days in a row. And today I am going to put the dirt in there and I am going to put the flowers in there. So here it is. Check it out. Just gonna fill it up with dirt. Nice healthy amount. Inside of this thing was never treated, so as it gets wet, the, uh, the wood inside will help feed the plants, so it'll end up being really cool. And then there's a hole down here on the end so the water can drain out. So it's, it's also cool. And there's another hole down here on the end so the water can drain out of both ends. We've got these little guys here. One of these guys right here. And that should be more than enough to actually fill this whole planter. The other ones we're gonna put around the side of the house. All right, there we go. 
That will throw in the last of it with dirt. Sorry for the noise out here. Everybody's really busy right now. There you go, that's the end result for the Dripwood Planter. This thing here I found down in the river three days ago. I waterproofed it twice, and I filled it with dirt, some flowers in there, make it look nice, and it'll sit over here on the deck, and this is what it looks like. There we go. Easy as pie, easy to find, and easy to put together. There you go, it looks like it always belongs right there. Beautiful.